Uber is rolling out a brand new feature that will allow riders to be able to schedule rides 30 days in advance, and it's called Uber Reserve. What is that going to mean for drivers and riders? Hey everyone, Chris here for the Rideshare Guy. Today we're going to be talking about Uber Reserve, what it is, what it means for drivers, what it means for riders, how it works, what markets it's going to be available in, what types of ride it's going to be available for, and then we're going to break down if this is going to be good for riders, if it's going to be good for drivers, or one or the other. So let's answer what is Uber Reserve. Well, Uber Reserve is going to be an enhanced scheduling ride feature that will allow passengers to schedule rides up to 30 days before the ride actually takes place. And it will provide added security during uncertain times is how Uber is coining this. So for an example, if a rider had a doctor's appointment coming up in a couple of weeks, they could schedule an Uber ride and have it all set and ready for them. So they would be able to guarantee that they will have a ride at that particular time frame and not even have to worry about scheduling a ride in case they need it. So you might be asking, what tiers is this available for when it comes to a particular Uber ride? Well, it's going to be available for Uber Black and Uber SUV, but it will be rolling out to all tiers, including Uber XL and Uber X over the next few months and should be on all tiers by the end of the year. And then you might be asking, well, what markets will this feature be coming to? Currently, they have plans to roll out in 20 markets, but again, they want to try to make this nationwide by the end of the year or at least over the next few months. So it could be coming to your market if you're not in the first 20. So the Uber Reserve feature will be rolling out in Atlanta, Austin, Charlotte, Charleston, Chicago, Dallas, Denver, Washington, D.C., Fort Myers, Naples, Houston, Las Vegas, Miami, Milwaukee, Nashville, New Jersey, New York City, New Orleans, Orlando, Philadelphia, Phoenix, and Seattle. And like I said, they do want to make this nationwide by the end of the year or at least over the next few months. So what is this feature going to look like for riders? We're going to cover that first, and then we're going to talk about what this is going to mean for drivers. So first, for riders, this just means that you're able to schedule in advance a ride up to 30 days prior to when you need a ride. So if you have a doctor's appointment, if you know there's uh, some sort of a meeting or anything that you know that's coming up that you can schedule your ride, you can do that before with up to 30 days. Now, if you are a rider and you favored a driver, that driver could potentially get the ride first and you may be paired with them. Also, riders and passengers will be able to have a 15-minute wait time when it comes to the ride beginning. Instead of Uber X or XL, where it's only a five-minute window, it will be a 15-minute window on Uber Reserve. And along with that additional wait time, passengers will be guaranteed that they will have their driver there on time. And if the driver isn't there on time, the passenger will receive $50 in Uber cash. Now let's talk about some of the things that this will mean for drivers. Now for drivers, just to get the notification or the ride coming in, you'll have advance notice of either from two hours before the ride all the way up to seven days before the ride is scheduled. And when the ride comes in, it's going to be pretty much the same where you can accept or deny it. And if you don't want to take that ride for whatever reason, you don't have to accept it if you do not choose to. So how is it going to look like for earnings? Because having this feature is going to be just a little bit different than scheduling a ride normally or just scheduling a ride for right now. Now, one of the cool features about this for drivers is that if a rider cancels the ride one hour or less prior to the ride actually being scheduled and happening, then the driver will receive the full fare that is logged for that. So that means if they're expecting to get a $52 trip, then they will receive that if the rider cancels within the hour before the trip actually is supposed to begin. So as you can see on the screenshot right here, that if the reservation is canceled by the rider within that hour time frame, you're going to be given that full amount of the fare. And then going on, it says in order to book an Uber reserve trip, there is a flat fee of $8 to $12 paid for by the passenger. 
The total amount is going to be determined by the city in which the ride is requested. So it's going to vary market to market and area to area. And then it says drivers will receive 72% of this fee in addition to the regular time and distance of the fares as now. So if the booking fee is $10 for this particular area or market, then the driver will receive $7.20 plus any mile and time on that particular ride. And then it goes on and says, if you're listed as the favorite driver of the customer who's booking the trip, the request will come to you first for a limited time. But if you pass, it's going to move on to another driver. If you accept the trip, is going to be added to your app. And there's no punishment if a driver chooses not to accept an Uber reserve trip request that comes through to them. Now, currently this is for Uber Black and Uber SUV, but it will be rolling out to Uber X, XL, and Comfort Rides as well. And if you're a driver who has accepted one of these Uber reserve rides, you're required to be on at least one hour prior to the ride happening and you will get rides going to that destination. So it's almost very similar to a destination filter that Uber will set up for you to make sure you are there on time. Now, on top of that, if you are offline before this ride and you are not online by a particular time frame, Uber will send out a notification to you saying you need to be online within 15 minutes. If you aren't, then they will not schedule you that ride and it will move on to another driver. And now for my thoughts on Uber Reserve overall as a feature, I think this could be really good for both drivers and riders. This is something where a rider will have extra benefits put into scheduling a trip a little bit more. Yeah, sure, they're going to probably pay a little bit more money with that higher booking fee, but overall, you're going to get a few extra added benefits. Then for drivers, it's actually going to be pretty good because you're making 72% of that booking fee. And also, if the rider cancels within one hour, you're actually going to make the full scheduled fare, which is kind of a cool thing. So I think it could be pretty good overall. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is that whole hour beforehand. And if you are taking trips before that, then is this going to be something where you may not be there on time and create some sort of issue? Or is this going to be where you arrive 30, 35 minutes or something beforehand and sitting there waiting? So there's going to be a little bit of nuances. But again, overall, I think this is actually something that could be pretty good for both drivers and riders when it comes down to this. Now, what are your thoughts on Uber Reserve? Comment below and let us know. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button to the Rideshare Guy, make sure you do because there are new videos each and every single week on many different things within the Rideshare industry, as well as how you can make more money as a driver. All right, everyone, drive safe.